just needed to trim. <laughs> Dark Falcon does take it over. Uh, basically one game over Sensei, because that K rule was a real game. As right. we meet Slade coming back to the stream and Slingshot, first time here, but this prolific Diddy has entered a couple events thus yeah. far, and they are uh, now this playing Diddy, all right. Yeah, to say the least, Yoshi's double jump armor ends up being really, really big. For one, the normal ledge traps that Diddy is known for with banana, sometimes Yoshi could just jump past it, each through forward air and very late percents. Uh, not only that, but an option that Yoshi can actually choose, especially on a stage with platforms like this, is to just like drop and then double jump right in his face and then react to the fact of if he throws a banana or throws out an aerial or something, you armor through it and punish. Like, double jump is act. The fact that double jump has armor is going to be absolutely crucial. And we'll see how, uh, whether or not Slade can really abuse it or whether he's just going to play the game style that we've seen from him using that gorgeous platform movement to get all the damage. It's... Yeah, and this is the this is the type of game plan that I feel like uh, a lot of players uh, won't explore with some item characters because items can be so uh, awkward, and uh, item frame data isn't necessarily a thing you study. But uh, I, oh, sorry, I I I don't remember ahead, if this is actually still the case, but Yoshi used to have the fastest item throw animation, and I'm not sure if he still does. Thank you, Black Sheep, for the subscription. Uh, right. I'm, I'm not 100% sure if that's still correct or if even how to fact check you, but I will certainly take your word for it because that item throw was mighty quick and it, it leads back to what I was saying though. Like most of the time, Slade will get a hold of it, throw some eggs, and then just throw the banana like away or down, like basically discard it. And that's not necessarily what you want to do against the Diddy Kong in so many instances. Like getting control yeah. of banana, holding on to it is what makes it um, is what really neuters the character in a lot of ways. That Z drop. And not only that, but Yoshi, he has a, like his uh, the 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 fact that his special moves have a lot of utility. Uh, not only can he throw eggs, but he has access to a command grab with neutral B, so the opponent can't just like shield it, like you know, expecting to shield banana or whatever. Similar to how Diddy has his monkey flip, so he can't just freely shield against him when he's holding banana. And I mean, also down B is a powerful move that you're probably not going to be using too much when you have banana. And, but just having access to a powerful like move, move like that, scare the opponent. Um, so yeah, I would like to see perhaps a bit more of a. Once he grabs it, just really see how much he can milk it. How long can he uh, can he hold on to the uh, the banana without really letting go of it willingly? Well, well, he hasn't gotten a chance to grab it this stock because Slingshot's quick adjustment uh, with how how and when he's pulling the the item itself. A good string from Slade, but Slingshot gained this huge lead from pulling banana and letting Slade think he can grab it but would punish them in grabbing it. Uh, yet again, the banana falls out of his control, though, as Sunshot keeps to the ground. Good challenge from Slade. As, like, it, Yoshi can certainly live for a significantly long time as long as he doesn't fall victim to one of Diddy's more uh, obvious kill moves, those being the, the monkey flip as a grab and also that frame six up smash. Yeah, also the down tilt is a really scary combo starter. So the thing is, I'm actually surprised that Oh, following through right there, but I'm surprised that he's playing so grounded against Diddy Kong at these later percents. Oftentimes, okay, yeah, being grounded can get you grabbed some, like, just like that. And, you know, this game started off looking really good for Slade, but it feels like there are some adjustments that Slingshot is able to play around this Yoshi style very effectively. And now is the situation where Slade has to figure out how to get this kill and getting the kill figuring out the amount of like 12 steps that you need to do to kill diddy kong when you're down against him without taking too much damage oh so far it does not seem to be working out 73 percent already locked onto slave and that gap just seems to be wide and yes it really it really seems like slingshot got used to how slade wanted to play this matchup and said okay yeah i'm just gonna like I'm not going to commit to jumps unless I don't have to. I'm always going to make sure I can land somewhere so I can hold up block. I'm never scared of you grabbing me. Even if you do grab me, I'm not afraid of that. 
Like, it's just been fundamental, quote unquote, Diddy Kong play, where he has banana in his hand, or even if he doesn't, he's a, he's pressing forward and taking stage with the just just by blocking and making Slade feel afraid of it. That up smash out, uh, out of shield, not up smash, up air out of shield, is definitely huge to make this somewhat even. But as time starts point, to wind down, like it's yeah, at this point, Slade basically his win condition is an edge guard. We haven't really seen anything like that just quite yet. But definitely, Yoshi can take very early stocks from Diddy Kong. Oh, but not going to get the chance. That banana, the aerial banana to up smash, actually still going to confirm, still going to be enough. And we have game one for Slingshot. And I mean, like, it's just that movie is just so good. It comes out so quick. Frame five, even. Excuse me. I was, form I was a little bit incorrect, but I mean, it still proves the point that Diddy doesn't really have a trouble, have a lot of trouble killing characters that only want to stay in the air, as Yoshi does. Uh, and not that Yoshi can't get out of some of his uh, more uh, combo-oriented kills, but having that big killing anti-air makes a big difference in a matchup where Slingshot doesn't need to be afraid, uh, yeah. doesn't need to be willing enough, or doesn't need to feel pressured to try and go anti-air, uh, anti-airing and chasing time, down Yoshi in midair. At the same time, I don't think we've seen really anti-air up smashes. The last up smash we saw was to catch a landing, and it was confirmed off of from a banana. Um, we'll see if if uh, it end, we end up having Slade try to be a lot more aerial this game. Ooh. Yeah. What? <laughs> it seems like it, that was a hey. cheeky combo with the recent on, or with the extension on the platform. Like these uh, falling up air is something that Diddy Kong's, uh, I believe, as of recently, were starting to experiment with in order to extend some of their throw combos from two hit to three hit or even four hit. And it's looking like Slingshot is starting to take a little bit of notes or show off some of the little some of the practice. It's a he little hurt bit of a shifted ever so slightly with his standing grab in order to avoid that. And okay, finally, maybe get it one of his. Combo starters done for himself? No, but I like this trying to... Oh, right, now he throws the banana out again. Uh, just wants to engage on his own terms, I suppose, but... Yeah, so far, I mean, giving Diddy access to that banana... I, I personally like to think of it when you get Diddy's banana as Yoshi, you get to play a nice little mini game where you're not allowed to hit the A button. <laughs> It's, I, I mean, mean it, it's a mentality thing, you it know? Does, it does. It is an idea, but that, yeah, the, the banana didn't quite true confirm because it hit uh, it hit Slade while they were in the air, but the spot dodge still getting covered by F-Smash. Uh, pulled the trigger a little too soon, but it's two hits for a reason, and we definitely take those. Now is Slingshot can fun? resume to what was working in game one, which is, hey, I'll gain some space, pull some banana, and... Kind of let you try to interact with me on she uh, on shield when I'm on the ground because you're definitely feeling the pressure now. Once I get this huge lead, it's the coverage on the landing yes with uh, with a quick grab, something that Slingshot's been mixing in super well. Slade, yeah, starting to get a little bit nervous, throwing out some of those big uh, those big kill moves. That anti air will certainly do it. Or the air, excuse me, but not finding the kill. And Slingshot gets back to center thanks to that monkey foot. Now, one of the reasons why Yoshi can oh, really struggle uh, to kill Diddy Kong is his very small size. Yoshi is a character that has really solid aerials, but when a character is short and mobile like Diddy Kong is, it really limits sort of when he can choose to throw out those aerials. I believe that actually broke his double jump armor right there. So we are at the point now where forward air is breaking Yoshi double jump armor. That can be really relevant once he gets put off stage. Okay, good job following through right there. Finally takes that first stock, but 108%. He's going to have to do a lot of work here if he wants to make up this deficit. And we've definitely seen Slingshot before and currently not feel all that afraid just to let the clock wind down and wait for wait for his opponent to give him the opportunity to throw that banana out of shield and uh, get the uh, get the kill off of it Ooh, almost reading the, the and he re-grabbed the banana during the tech meaning that he could actually punish with a banana throw 
Oh, gets the trip, but doesn't actually get the uh, the famous punishment he could have. Oh, okay. I. So Yoshi has some really good defensive options. You know, once he gets hit, but oh, the spacing on that was absolutely you know, phenomenal. You know, it's a really good option in Smash Ultimate and dash back into basically anything. And Yoshi F Smash certainly, with its massive hitbox, is gonna be a pretty good one in that spot. It's 64. Like if Slingshot's not careful, this can slip uh, slip out of his fingertips very, very quickly. Of course, though, the wind condition of an edge guard is still on the table, more so for Yoshi than for Slingshot, uh, more so for Slade than for Slingshot, but it can it can really start getting out of hand if, you find, if uh, Slade is able to find anything like an up tilt that, that egg roll then seems He's like He's lucky that he too. egg rolled when, not when he had a banana in hand. Yeah, that's certainly true. But they're just whiffing now. They're whiffing in each other's faces, but nothing is really coming from it. They're trying to find... They're still trying to apply that pressure in mid-stage without over-committing. Like, it's a very dangerous period if you are slave because of how... Like, with every interaction that you lose, you take closer and closer to when things like uh, just raw forward air that were... Uh, or up smashes will start to kill and while we don't see them much we can start seeing them soon especially with uh sting shot starting to look for down tilt there it is okay. okay this actually could be huge he's been tech rolling in quite a bit and for the most part slade has been picking up on that 69 percent not necessarily the percent where he can be okay now he should be scared 92 both of these players are definitely at that percent we're seeing the uh the back air is coming out. Back air up here with the right positioning can probably do it. He actually sucks him in from the the Yoshi bomb. That absolutely That's... would have been if the hitbox had come out, but it was, I guess, just frames away from happening. And now as it stands, 148% onto Slade. He's trapped on this platform and unable to find his way back down to the ground. Good job understanding that that up smash kind of the what he's really looking for there's another one but that one doesn't he just gets it the roll read runs right through him God, that game almost ended the same way game one did but just a little bit late on the trigger pull was slingshot i wish i hope that's in the replay uh, yeah it seems like it like he throws the banana upwards but doesn't react or, or got very a jab. Missed, yeah, he missed a jab input, by accident yeah. miss inputs the jab and that's gonna Losing your chance like that is so huge because then what you're basically doing is resetting neutral as Diddy. That's where he's at his best, but resetting it with a defensive option and the roll read is so huge from Slade is that game looked like it was starting to slip away from him really quickly early, but holding on and... Ooh, that's going to be game three. The I believe that's the first game three of our quarters. Yeah, it's been two O's across the board. So yeah. they're oh, really going to be fighting. what a game three is like. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, thank you for the sponsor, Chris. Uh, always appreciate it. You donating to the Match Arena, exclamation point Match Arena in chat to keep giving these players more to... Uh, more to play for, more to, more to fight for, more to scrap for. And it's, yep. This All will right, be and for our top eight is going to be uh, here on Town and City. I can actually agree with this. I think that, you know, as as Diddy Kong, you want to be going uh, to a stage like FD, both generally speaking, it's a really good stage for Diddy, but also, as we've seen, Slade is an amazing utilizing platforms for their platform movement and all of that. Um, you can't get that because FD was most likely banned, but a stage like Town and City, you do have that FD variant, plus a lot of space, space to run around, space to pull your banana so i definitely agree with this particular pick here uh that being said there are still things that yoshi can do on this stage uh it being longer means that he might feel more comfortable throwing out eggs at a distance or also when the platforms are there yoshi can get some nasty combo extensions uh and when they're in this variant he can also get off the ledge just a little bit easier so i think it goes both ways but i can see absolutely why slim tower yeah, just the added space is going to be huge, especially with this layout. He could monkey flip from one side of the stage and get a free landing to the other. As long as he's not too uh, predictable with some of his monkey flip timings, 
then it's going to be difficult for uh, for Sway just to keep track of his trajectories. Because even though Yoshi can run people down in midair just as better than better than most characters, it's it's the mix up of timings that really changes up characters, uh, changes up playstyles. That's exactly that up smash and that banana throw really did. Because that was a far yeah. toss. He actually he up smashed. I believe that was a down tilt on his shield. And I don't, I think that was probably a read. I don't think you can safely up smack even like a poorly spaced down tilt, did he? Okay, reset, and he pushes him ever so gently closer to the ledge just to get him further off stage. And now 96%. Keep in mind, back in that game too, Slingshot could have won this whole set if he didn't miss and put that, you know, buffer that jab by accident. And all of a sudden now in game three, 103%. He's actually looking like he might be dropping down to his winner's bracket stock in just a moment here, depending on whether or not Slade can find this finishing blow. And that's always the, the the question at the end of the day is yet another up smash coming out from Slade's shield. Um, it's it's been working thus far, and despite uh, you you were correct by the way, uh, Diddy down tilt it's minus eight, which means the uh, frame eleven up smash will not be able to punish it down tilt on shield, uh, unless you recognize that Slingshot has been constantly throwing out one or two down tilts and one or two buttons on uh, on Slade shield before actually doing anything, uh, doing anything defensive or doing anything uh, else. So, hey, okay, like good on Slade for recognizing it, and good on Slingshot for seeing the the startup of the Yoshi Bomb and just rolling out of the rolling out of there and getting a huge punish because of it. This game is evened up quickly as oh, no, he oh, fell out yeah. of it. <laughs> well, it breaks my heart every time I see it. <laughs> um, but that I believe that was another roll read. It seems that at these higher percents now, Slade picking up on those defensive rolling habits. But the fact that it didn't connect, you know, like we know how in that game 2 oh, you know, the heartbreaker moment for Slingshot was when he accidentally buffered jab. In this game, depending on how this pans out, it might have been that, you know, down B just not working as God, aka Sakurai, had intended. Yeah, but quickly, quickly, Slate evened the game back up. It's, we're back into a precarious spot, Banana, showing off its own. Uh, sentience, I suppose, as it that comes in clutch for time Slade. Tech rolled in. That is just a. It feels like Slade is starting to pick up on those def defensive again with the rolling in. Another one. Like if, if he continues to go for those, I'm, we've already seen that Slade is aware of it. So, That's yeah, fine. he's picking up on these rolling habits. Absolutely. Oh, I'm not quite sure what that was, but oh, could have could be really costly actually the fact he missed his tech there meant he didn't have to worry about a tech chase from the side b and runs up underneath him that up smash the range on it is actually really really big and just the tiniest bit of his toes connecting onto diddy kong that's actually going to be slayed picking up the set winning it 2-1 after a huge comeback in two yeah and these these monkey flips were being scouted ever so reliably uh by Slayed late into these games like he'd been doing it quite a uh, quite a ton almost as much as he had been rolling or tech rolling in and the up smash while maybe he was preparing to try and punish something like monkey flip and they just reacted a little bit to it and couldn't get there it works just as yeah. well to call out jumps i mean I, look at it's look the at sort the of thing height on generally this speaking, uh <laughs> look at look at those toes like the, that's like pressing toe to toe um beautiful it's like a metaphor um, what, what are you trying to show us, Devin? Are you trying to show us the range of that move? Keep in mind, actually, that if we go to the frame before this, I think Diddy Kong actually extended his feet a little bit even further down because of the animation for, um, yeah, like he got pushed up. Like, look at that. See, yeah, his feet are like going down because it's the banana pull animation. And then like he jerks back into his hit, uh, his hit stun animation or like the hit lag animation rather. Yeah, he kind yeah, of. No, this is like you can see he, where those those toesies connect. Yeah, he yeah. he kind of he stretches out, he flails a little bit because of the Actually, banana pull. That looks like like a like a like a like a power move, like like you know like a duel, like you know like I'm gonna give you a boost, buddy. <laughs> Don't worry, I got you, bud. 
<laughs> yeah, but generally speaking, I think it feels like at the end of that, the big adjustment that Slade made is he recognized the fact that in it felt like in those defensive positions, Slingshot wasn't throwing out any hitboxes. He could just comfortably run right at him, run right through him even, and then just wait and react. He didn't have to worry about like, I'm running at you and get down, tilt up, smashed. There wasn't really any sort of, you know, quick aggressive moves that were being thrown out in his face to counter that. Um, yeah. I believe, are we moving on to top eight now? Is that what's happening? Uh, see. Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah, Mind maybe. if we throw to a quick break just for a moment? All right. So, yeah, we don't have quite the entire bracket yet, but we'll be back in just a moment with more of this high octane action.